you have 48% um, um, of the um, economic rights, rights to sharing in profits and loss of distributions. Member B, you have 52% in the same thing. However, member A, you have 75% of the vote, and member B, you have 25% of the vote, vote. You could do that. Or you could say, all right, member A, you put in more, uh, more money than I did, yet we're going to say that we're 50-50, but you'll get your money out first. You could do all that. Um, um, the terms of, of the equity and the clauses are set by, by generally by contract. The operating agreement um, sets out um, the... Um, the, uh, the rights that you have. I'm just getting the high side on time, so I'm going to speed this up. Um, limited partnership, S treated similarly to limited li um, liability companies, but uh, at, at least one partner needs to be a general partner, which as I said could be a, um, a, a, a corporation, an LLC. General partnership, no restrictions, can have as many partners as you want. Terms are set by partnership agreement. Um, capital raising transactions, um, again, C corporations, as I mentioned, you can use whatever equity or debt that you want or a combination. Um, S corporations, same thing, but when it comes to, you, you're limited in the, in the number of stockholders and the type of equity that you um, uh, can, uh, can raise. Um, if you're an S corp, you're not doing a, um, a public offering and you'll need to convert to a C corporation. Limited liability company, just really quickly, um, we talked about the equity interest in the different classes. You can make them mirror elements of stock. This one point this out. Sometimes uh, limited liability companies can talk in terms of percentages. So that can get very cumbersome to deal with as more people potentially come into your company because of dilution. If someone has 10% of the company and that's what they expect, they think they have that forever. So you could set it up as units and treat it like you do um, uh, stock. Uh, one thing I will point out, um, one caveat with investments in, in LLCs, certain funds um, which are tax exempt investors like pension funds, certain pension funds and other funds that are set up that way, will not invest in a limited liability company because it's something called unrelated business taxable income, which effectively says if you don't have a corporation in the chain, um, the company which cannot have unrelated business taxable income will be deemed to be carrying on the business of the flow-through entity. And so you could be precluded from taking investments from that type of an entity. Um, limited partnerships, um, just going to um, um, uh, talk about the limited partners. Um, are, it's a good vehicle if you can have silent investors because limited partners cannot participate. Um, uh, on taxation, really quickly, see corporations to get taxed twice. Corporation makes a profit, it gets taxed. Those profits ultimately get distri distributed to shareholders, the shareholders get taxed. Um, corporations can participate in tax free reorganizations, uh, or organ uh, um, organizations under, under uh, like mergers and things of that nature. Um, S corporations, um, just quickly point out, profits taxed only at the shareholder level. Corporation does not get taxed. Um, the um, the caveat though is that, that the profits flow through to the shareholders. So if the shareholder, if the corporation doesn't distribute those profits to the shareholders, the shareholders still have to pay tax. So that comes up if you want to have reserves for working capital. So that has to be thought about. On a state level, some states don't recognize S corps and will tax them as C corporations. New York City doesn't recognize S corporations will tax as C corporations. Otherwise, um, S corps can participate in tax free reorganizations as well. Um, limited liability companies, profits are taxed at the member level only, like the S corp, uh, but can, they cannot participate in tax free re reorganizations like certain mergers and things of that nature. I'm going to skip limited partnerships, uh, management and governance. Um, corporations have their shareholders, directors, and offices. Shareholders actually vote on very few things, sale of the assets, a merger with the company's not a surviving entity, an amendment of the certificate of incorporation, and that's it, unless the shareholders agreement, and, and, and also, it's not here, but election of um, directors, um, unless in a contract you provide for further rights to the shareholders. The, the company's governed by the board of directors. They get to decide 
if the company's going to borrow money. The directors get to decide if the company is going to issue more shares. So you could be a shareholder in a corporation, and you have no say in whether more shareholders can come into the corporation unless you provide for it in a shareholders agreement. Um, also, corporations have a very well-developed body of law compared to other entities. Limited liability company, very flexible, can be managed by members. All the members can manage, or some of the members can manage as member managers. Or you could set it up where the kind of outside managers um, are managing, or you could have a combination of, of that. That will all be set up in your operating agreement. You have a lot of flexibility as how you want to do that. Um, Larry, how much time do we have? If, one minute, okay. Employee incentive considerations. This is something that you may want to do to incentivize people to stay, keep good people on. Um, corporations, you can give them equity rights. Um, and I could talk offline about them. Just again, don't have the, um, the, the, the time yet. The restrictions of the S Corporation is you're restricted as to ultimately the, the, the type of shareholders you have, as we said, and having a single class of vote, vote, voting equity. So your, your incentive program would, would, would need to be tailored to address that. Limited liability companies, you could do similar things, although you don't see things like options that much in, uh, in LLCs. You can, what, what, what is, is fairly popular are profit interests where you don't, where the, the, the holder of the interest don't actually have the interest, but they have the right to participate in profits as if they do when profits um, arise. And, and with that, um, the, um, the, the good thing about it is that the tax only happens when that profit is, is uh, distributed. One thing I will point out though, in an LLC, because an LLC effectively is treated as a partnership for tax purposes, unless you choose to be taxed as a corporation, but very few people do that. If employees get equity in an LLC, they could end up being treated as members and not as employees, and that could be an issue. There are ways where you could address that um, to, to, um, to, to, to cover that. Um, limited partnerships, the same as LLC, treated some as LLCs. And um, thanks very much. That's my uh, presentation. And, uh, thank you.